Hey guys, it's Maddie. Welcome to my channel. Today I am going to be doing a video introducing you to the newest member of my family. I put on my Snapchat that I got a new creature and you guys were all very curious as to what I got, so today I am going to introduce you to him. So before I get into it, I'll give you a little bit of background. Before I ever got my first snake, which was when I was 13 years old, I was really fascinated with these snakes and I told myself that they were my favorite snake and anyone who asked me what my favorite type of snake was, I would say this kind of snake, even though I never owned one. And it's weird because they're a pretty common snake in the pet trade now and I am just now getting one, <laughs> like so many years later. So yeah, I finally got my favorite childhood snake and I'm really excited about it. He's a real sweetheart, so now it's time for you guys to meet him. All right, here he is. He is a western hognose snake. Not really quite sure how old he is, but he is perfect. He's actually very docile and is very handleable. The people who had him before me handled him a lot, clearly, because he's a very chill snake. They had him for about four months and they said that he was itty bitty when they got him, so I'm estimating him to be at about six to seven months old. His name was Butters in his previous home, but I haven't decided if I'm going to keep it or not but he is just absolutely so cute. It looks like he was just slithering really fast and like ran into a wall and smashed his little face in and he's just perfect. Let's see if we can get a good shot of his face. Oh, look at that. Look at that good little boy, oh my gosh. So I'm going to tell you a couple of facts about the Western Hognose Snake. These guys are also known as the Blowing Adder, the Faux Viper, and the Bluffer. And they're known as the bluffer because one of their main defense mechanisms once they've exhausted other options is literally to just flip on their back and play dead. They'll even have their little tongue hanging out the side of their mouth. It's really cute. They're also called faux vipers because, because of another defense mechanism they have, which is when they feel threatened, they will actually, they'll plop their heads down and it looks like a triangle, almost like a venomous snake. And they will actually strike at whatever is spooking them with their mouths closed to try to scare them away. So a lot of people say these guys are venomous, but they are actually very harmless. So unlike a viper, these guys are not venomous in the same aspect. They do have a modified saliva gland called the Duvernoy's gland that makes a toxic saliva. So if they were to bite a human, typically it's not going to do anything unless you have an allergic reaction. But for their prey, on the other hand, it's a little bit different. So when they strike at their prey, they're not constrictors like corn snakes or some other types of colubrids, but they actually use the toxic saliva and it, it almost paralyzes or stunts the prey so they're able to swallow it. So it's pretty cool. I have heard of these guys being pretty huffy and hissy, but I have not seen that with this guy yet. He actually seems very sweet and curious, and when I walk in the room, if he's not buried down in the substrate, he actually comes right up to the side of the tank and kind of like goes back and forth and says hello to me. So it's really cute. He's a, he's a charming, handsome little man, and I'm excited to have him in my family. Oh, he's being shy. Okay. Do you want to say hello? Lock my face. The snack. So like I said, he doesn't have a permanent name. His name was Butters, but if you guys have any name suggestions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. But he is very cute. I thought I would make a special video about this little guy because he's just oh so special and such a cute little handsome man. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already clicked the subscribe button, go ahead and click the subscribe button below. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up and leave me a comment. Do any of you have a hognose snake? Let me know below and I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye!